Good day, first year students. Welcome to the University of the Western Cape and especially to the education faculty. Um, you have registered for a B.Ed. Senior Phase FET degree and this is exactly what I am going to be talking about today. So, um, what is the purpose of this degree or who actually uh, enrolls for this degree? People who want to get a professional qualification as a teacher. Um, this B.Ed. degree will give you a solid foundation in exactly that, teaching how to be professional in your practice. Um, and this is a, a, a different degree to a um, what we refer to as a PGCE degree. Um, this one, your B.Ed. degree, is for people who want to start off right from the beginning um, with, with education itself. In the PGCE, you will later, maybe as you go along in your years of study, you will find out that there's, there's students who do a degree, let's say a BSc or a BCom, and they then decide they want to be a teacher and they do a year qualification, um, which we call a PGCE. But your one starts from year one um, with the education um, subjects or modules actually is the correct term. So what will you be doing in this uh, SPFET program? You will be learning about the subject matter in your discipline that you will be teaching one day and you will we will also give you the skills but remember we can't give you all skills some of it you're going to learn in practice one day but we will try to give you as much skills as possible to do your job as a teacher and we will specifically look at the context in which we are all living and that is South Africa. All right, I've said that this degree is a SPFET um, degree. Now what does SP and FET actually mean? In education right from grade R um, up until grade 12 we have two bands. One is a GET band and the other is a FET band. Now the GET band stands for General Education and Training. The FET uh, band stands for Further Education and Training. Now when we say that your degree is placed in SP and FET, it means that you will have uh, two subjects in the GET band and one subject in the FET band. SP stands for senior phase. In the GET band we have foundation phase, intermediate phase and senior phase. Senior phase um, you will be teaching grades 7, 8 and 9 and in the FET band that refers to grades 10, 11 and 12. So now you know exactly where your focus is going to be. And you, uh, that's, you know, sitting in this presentation, in this orientation session, you have registered either for accounting, economic and management sciences, or, and mathematics. Two of those are in the SP phase, and one of it is an account, I mean, one of it is um, in the FET band, and that is accounting. Then there's another category, languages and life orientation. Then we have languages and mathematics and we also have languages and social sciences. And the last but not least, the fifth stream is mathematics, mathematical literacy and natural sciences. Right, so those are your streams. You know which stream you will fall in because you've registered already. Okay, in your first year, we, are, we try to give you as much support as we can. And so all first year students, and obviously including you at the education faculty, in your first year you have tutorials and 
Here we have tutors you, you, uh, who will be we're taking smaller groups. The lecturer takes all of you and they, she does the, uh, that lecturer does the, um, the lecture for, for the whole class. And then on another day, students break away into smaller groups where tutors will take that content further. Um, and also related to practice. Further support that we give you, um, and this is not only in the education faculty, but the, uh, at the whole um, university, we have a center for innovative education and communication technologies. We, we simply call it by its acronym CIECT. And this, um, I'll, I'll just call it the e-learning department they actually help you with other little technical issues and one thing that the learning the learning management system that that um, the CIECT people provide is called ICAMVA and on ICAMVA it is via ICAMVA that the lecturer can communicate with all of you so if if the lecturer wants to send you an announcement a message then she will then that lecturer will use the learning management system at UWC called ICAMVA. Um, you will also be, uh, be able to upload assessments and things like that and chat to each other via this learning management system called ICAMVA. Then the last thing I want to talk about is, and you're probably excited and that's why you have enrolled for this BA degree because you want to get the education but you know right from the start and here we have a module called teaching practice now teaching practice is part of a module called education practice and education practice is actually the most important subject in in your degree this is where you're going to learn i call it the art of teaching so teaching practice the question you might be asking is when am I going out to a school? Um, we would have liked you to, to go to a school right from year one, but because of this pandemic, this worldwide pandemic that has, you know, I mean, it affected all of us, we can't do that this year. So we are planning to send out the second years just for a, uh, maybe one day, but that will be discussed with your lecturer in more detail. So you, the second years will go out to a school they will be given an, you will be given an assignment of course and in the third years they go out for two weeks and the fourth years when you get to your fourth year you will then go out for a longer period usually about six or seven weeks but that I just wanted to give you an overview of teaching practice so for you right now in year one you are not going to go to a school for that module called education practice there is another module called education in society and for that module you could be going out to a school but your lecturer will inform you um, if it is safe for you to go to a school or not right so that's your teaching practice you will be teaching real students live students in a class and that's exciting and I just want to um, end off with something motivational um, I'm going to read a quote by Dr. Miles Munro, and it says, Live life with all your might. Give it all you have. Do it until there is nothing left to do, because you have become all that you were created to be, done all that you were designed to do, and given all that you were sent to do. Students, I want to say to you, go out there and make a difference not only make a difference but actually be the difference thank you I will see you in in class actually I will see you on the screen because we will be doing this online um, for most of this year so goodbye I'll see you